What's up everybody, Blex here, and as most of you probably are, I am personally hyped for some of the upcoming games for the rest of 2020 and 2021. in particular Cyberpunk 2077. And I wanna ensure that your computer is in the best possible state to play these games. So I have some tips that I've personally gone through over the past couple weeks to get my setup ready for these new games. Folks, I'm an expert. <laughs> to start off, it's an obvious one. Let's talk about your graphics card. Now this is probably the single most important piece of equipment to play games. Now I know you're gonna say it's impossible to get these cards, and I sort of agree, but I have some tips that I use to get myself a 3070, and those include following alert bots on Twitter. So there's a bunch of accounts that will provide notifications when they see stock within different sites like Best Buy and Newegg. I also was able to keep a computer open at all times at my desk for about uh, half a week or so, and would periodically refresh the pages for 3070s so I could also manually check um, these different sites. And doing this in com combination and dedicating some serious time on a daily basis, I was able to pick one up thanks to some luck and some persistency. Now, knowing that it's still really difficult, I do have some alternative tips, and that could be to go and buy an older generation graphics card, like a 1070 or 2070, or any of the in-between cards, because right now, the prices on those cards are dropping with everyone upgrading to the newer 3000 series generation. You can currently get a 1070 for about 175 to 250 on eBay, and the 2070s are, are going for about 250 to 350 on eBay, so that could be a more cost-effective approach depending on what kind of cards you're upgrading from. The next tip everyone can do, and that is cleaning your operating system. For me, I clean installed Windows again on my PC, as over the years you get a buildup of random apps and other things that could slow down your computer, so it's always good to do a clean reinstall. Now if you built your PC, all you need to do is get a flash drive, 16 gigs will do and it worked for me. You go to the Windows site, you use the tool they have, and you can download a fresh version of Windows, and then you follow the steps indicated in their guide. Uh, it's just as simple as loading on the flash drive, plugging it in, and booting from there, and then within about 30 minutes or so you can have a fresh fully cleaned operating system. Now be sure of course to back up and save any important files and I'd also recommend call out that you want to install your new operating system with the UEFI BIOS setting. Uh, I did make this mistake recently where I installed a legacy BIOS version and that could slow down your boot up time by about three to se five seconds by not installing the newer version. Holy shit I'm gonna come. So keep that in mind as you go and reinstall Windows. Now along the lines of cleanup, the next tip is to actually physically clean your PC. Now I know we're all lazy, but physically dusting and removing any particles that could get caught in your PC over time will dramatically help the performance of your PC, and I typically try to do it every two to three months. But I've seen some of my friends' PCs, and I've seen some of the photos online, and it, it could border on a fire hazard. All you're gonna need is a few paper towels, some water, an air duster, and maybe a vacuum. And I know, this sounds like an items for a lonely night. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just gonna go go and check my mail over there. You've been lifting weights? But you're using this to clean your computer, and you're gonna make it quieter, you're gonna make it last longer, and most importantly, it's gonna run cooler. Now that we've got your computer clean and running smoother, you might wanna consider overclocking your PC. Now if your computer is older, this is something you should definitely try, as it gives you a bit of extra power, and since you've already had it for a few years, you don't have to worry about the longevity as much with the computer since you're more ready to upgrade than other people. The less heat your computer generates, the less you have to worry about your heat throttling your PC or slowing your PC and causing more catastrophic damage. Personally, I'm no expert in overclocking, so I recommend you checking out some more robust guides, but when I go about it, it's typically through a multiplier increase or using the built-in functions as part of my motherboard software or graphics card software. Now, I will recommend MSI's Afterburners for GPU overclocking, as I've seen a lot of good reviews online, as that is uh, a popular tool to be using. And then otherwise, you can use your BIOS or motherboard specific software for CPU overclocking. Just remember, do this at your own risk, and you're trading system longevity and stability for more power now with increased heat generation and power draw. Now the last tip I have for you is to upgrade some of your non-core components. Those are things like fans, maybe storage, even RAM. Personally, I've added some new fans to my PC to help cool my PC a little bit more and added some extra storage in the form of an M.2 drive. Now I plan to be booting off of one SSD, playing my games off of that new M.2 drive, and I have a secondary storage SSD for any videos or, or music files that I want to keep long 
long term. And I do have a legacy hard disk drive I keep unplugged as well in case I do need some massive storage or some backup ability. But adding things like this can help reduce the heat, increase the speed in which games load by booting off of separate drives, spacing out the amount of data draw, as well as just keep your PC healthy and running in tip top shape for a longer period of time. So I'd highly recommend considering upgrading some of those secondary components. They're also not as bad of an upgrade compared to redoing your CPU or motherboard. Now that's all for today. If you guys want to hear more about any of these specific items on this top five list, please let me know. I'd be happy to make a, a follow-up guide to this. And please take it from Stephen A. Smith. Halligible! And remember to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you all.